Music festivals draw the best fans to see the biggest bands on the most amazing stages in the world. But to find out what separates them, you have to run the numbers. This is Total Primavera Sound Edition. The pride of Catalonia, Primavera Sound is where the past, present, and future of music meet. And wow, has Primavera ever grown? When it was born, 7,700 people came to nod their heads to 19 bands on six stages. That seemed pretty big at the time, but by 2008, Primavera had grown exponentially to 61,782 fans dancing to 123 bands. That's a lot more porta potties. But this year, Primavera Sound is all grown up. Organizers are expecting 195,000 people rocking out to 250 bands on eight stages and in one auditorium. So if you're coming, sleep now so you can let your freak flag fly. When the word got out around 2009 what a killer festival this is, people outside of Spain started coming. And faster than you can say, donde esta la fiesta, people started flocking here. Last year, 42% of the attendees were from around the globe. People from as far away as the Bahamas, Nepal, Greenland, and Madagascar have ripped it up here. Of the 58% of festival goers from Spain, one quarter are from the surrounding city of Barcelona. Barcelona? Ooh, sorry, Barcelona. So that's what separates Primavera sound goers. But what brings them together? I mean, besides the fact that they're dressed in all black and skinny jeans despite the 30 degree temperature, Obviously, these are some hardcore fans who like all kinds of music. Check out these festival facts. The longest concert ever given at the festival, three hours by The Cure. The youngest artist to appear, seven-year-old Candela y los Supremos. The oldest, 90-year-old Marshall Allen from Sun Ra Orchestra. Bands that have debuted here include Deer Hunter and Crystal Castles in 07, Maniel in 08, Beach House in 09, Mac DeMarco in 2012, not to be confused with a guy I knew in high school named Mark DeMacco. Good guy, loved to pop wheelies on his bike. Bands and their crews come in many sizes. The biggest, Arcade Fire. They came to the festival with 60 people. The smallest, Julian Cope, who came alone. So who started it all? Who was the first to perform at the first Primavera Sound? Senor Chinaro, of course. And no ladies, there is no Senora Chinaro. And the artist who's played the festival the most, none other than Shellac, who will perform in 2016 for the 10th time. This year's concert looks like it's gonna be the best one yet, with artists like Radiohead, LCD Sound System, The Last Shadow Puppets, PJ Harvey, Tame Impala, Sigur Rós, Air, and Brian Wilson performing Pet Sounds. And that's totaled Primavera Sound Edition. Now the only other number to add is you. Tune into the live broadcast of Primavera Sound June 2nd through 4th, only on Red Bull TV.